Welcome back to YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I will show you what to expect in Android 12 Beta 3. In one of my videos, I went through every second in Google's I.O. event to collect the new changes Google showed us, and with Beta 2, we got a good portion of them. So I will show you what we have got already and what to look forward for in the future builds of Android 12, especially the third beta. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the lock screen. We already got Google Pay shortcut in beta 2 with a slightly different icon from the one showed in the event. But we're still missing the priority conversations, profile pictures on the always on display and a couple of new lock screen clocks. So hopefully we're going to see them in beta 3. Now let's move on to the system wide changes. Google showed a redesigned navigation bar for some apps like phone, Gmail and the clock with outlined icons, adaptive theming and the active tab has a pill shaped fill color. Right now, the Files app on Android 12 Beta 2 matches the same design language, so I'm expecting to see it in more apps in the future. The volume slider showed in the event is now part of the second beta and it looks exactly the same, but we didn't get the animated seek bar for multimedia just yet. Google also showed the ability to drag and drop items to share with others using a very compact share sheet. I'm so excited to see how the drag and drop feature will be fully implemented in Android 12. We should also expect new time picker, sliders and toggles in upcoming builds in addition to a redesigned Google Assistant interface with a solid background and a small handle at the top. Next, the styles and the wallpapers app. And this is one of the things that Android 12 will change entirely. As you see, it looks totally different with bigger thumbnails for the categories, new wallpapers categories, and a full screen design. The preview page is also different and it shows in full screen instead of a small preview like we currently have. The set wallpaper on overlay menu looks a lot better and the app will give you plenty of color palettes to choose from based on your wallpaper colors. I'm eagerly waiting for the new styles and the wallpapers app with all these new customizations. Google also revealed three new icon shapes, a new wallpapers category called floral, and outlined app icons that matches your device theme instead of the normal colorful ones. Now let's talk about the notifications shade. And I'm not expecting much to change in beta 3 because we got almost everything Google showed in the event with beta 2. Starting from the tiles pill shaped design, the more compact media controls, the new power button in the quick settings area, in addition to four new tiles. One for smart home devices, one for Google Pay, and the two more for the camera and the mic axis. The home devices and the Google Pay tiles look slightly different from what we have in beta 2, plus Google showed if the camera and the microphone are blocked, we should see two indicators at the top right corner, so we might see those two changes in beta 3, and now it's time for today's sponsor. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about widgets. Android 12 is expected to get plenty of new ones that we didn't see just yet. Like the new photos widget that can be linked to certain people or pets, three new shopping widgets for store location, shopping list and loyalty card, an animated one for music, six new designs for the clock, three new ones for the weather, plus keep notes, calendar and Google Fit. For now, some people got a new Google Photos widget that shows your memories, but it's not yet available for everyone. But adding this to what we have seen in the event makes me more confident that we will see these new widgets soon, hopefully in beta 3. Next, the camera. Last time I saw these toggles at the top, I didn't know what the folder icon is all about, but after the latest feature drop for Pixel devices, it ended up to be the locked folder icon. Now we are still missing the rest of the toggles on the left. They are self-explanatory, but it seems that Google will replace the drop-down arrow in the middle with these new toggles. So let's add this one to the list of expectations of Android 12. In addition to the better camera algorithms that work better with people of color skin tones and the curly hair in portrait shots. And finally, let's talk about the settings. As shown in the event, we got the new camera and the mic indicators and the privacy dashboard. However, we are still missing this new settings page design. So that was my list of expectations for Android 12 Beta 3. Based on what happened previously, I'm confident that we will see a big number of these changes in the upcoming build. 
So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.